What's going on guys? Uh, today we're going to be putting together a couple more helmets uh, for our volunteers. So we have uh, two different color helmets we use. We have a blue helmet and a white helmet. White helmet is for uh, uh, sawyers and uh, general volunteers. And then our blue helmets are for team leads, safety officer, heavy equipment, and uh, you know just somebody in a leadership uh, position on the work site. So we have four of those helmets and we're adding uh, to our uh, general volunteer helmets. We are using cask plasma helmets, the super plasma. And uh, so here's our blue helmets. We got Cardo Black Talk comms in them um, with our 3M muffs. And we've been really happy with uh, with this comm, uh, comm setup. It's really, uh, really a game changer. Um, today we're gonna be installing um, another pair of Cardo uh, Pack Talk bolts onto two additional uh, cast super plasmas. And this is, this is gonna be our white helmet setup. And so they're identical, just different colors. Um, we're gonna kind of walk through the process of putting a helmet together, how we've run the wires and everything like that. Um, and maybe it'll give you guys some ideas uh, who are considering running comms on their helmets. You know, there's Senna and there are uh, Carter Black Talks. And honestly, they're all about the same. Um, we chose to go with the uh, Pack Talk, really just because of the uh, the waterproof rating. And honestly, I think I think they're they're both they're both totally fine. Um, it's just uh, just a personal preference. And so we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, install going. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, just uh, just put them in the comments below. And hopefully this, you know, this helps you guys a little bit uh, for those who are considering doing this. So let's get after it. All right, let's talk about the cask super plasma a little bit. We're super happy with these helmets. Uh, we got a couple of guys that run the uh, Protos helmets and obviously those are kind of top of the line for uh, tree work, but we are super pleased with the uh, super plasma. It's really comfortable. Um, the straps are high quality and they're lightweight offer really good protection and they're pretty modular. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with them. Uh, we're gonna add the visor and the earmuffs to them. And then you can also add a strap here across the front for like a helmet light or something like that. They vent really well, um, stay on your head really well. And so it's honestly everything we could ask for in a helmet. And uh, you know, they're probably really similar to the, uh, to the Petzl style helmets as well. Um, just a step up from your general, you know, forestry helmet that you can buy. In order to run these uh, Peltor 3M earmuffs, you have to uh, get uh, the adapters for the earmuffs. Some helmets come with them, some don't. Ours came with them. And so all you gotta do is pop off um, this little cap right here. Uh, we put Loctite on our screws, so these screws um, are what fasten the, uh, the adapters to the helmet. And we like to Loctite these because they, they do have a habit of coming loose if, if you don't do that, especially with you flipping them, flipping them up and uh, out of the way uh, a lot of times throughout the day. It just start to work its way out. So we've had really good success putting some, putting some Loctite on there. So just a little tip. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this one assembled. We'll put the visor on, put the earmuffs on. And once we start to install the comm system, uh, we'll show you how we route the wiring and, and everything like that. And, and we'll get into it, but it does require you to drill a hole in the, uh, one of the earmuff layers. And then we go back through and fill that up with silicone. Um, so it uh, keeps, a, keeps a seal, um, you know, so you don't just ruin your decibel rating uh for for the earmuffs we'll go over all that soon um but yeah we'll just kind of go through how to put this helmet together so we just take a phillips head screwdriver and pop these little uh these little tabs out for the earmuffs and the visor so that's for the visor that big one small one is for the uh for the muffs and so you just kind of push that out from the back that's what they look like really small um, and then you're able to insert the screw through that hole and attach these brackets. All right, so we got both earmuff brackets on. So they just uh, they have these little clips that grab the uh, rim of the helmet. 
and you just line the hole up with a, with a screw, screw them in, you're good to go. Pretty simple. There's not a right side or a left side. There's symmetric pieces, um, so it's really easy to do. We'll move on to the visor now. All right, so for the visor, um, this is a toolless installation. Um, so you can see, I'll just show you guys the instructions real quick. You have uh, a right side and a left side bracket here, and those go on the exterior. There's uh, two guide uh, holes here, and you have two dowels um, that are on the actual bracket. Line those up, and then it comes with this uh, plastic washer that goes um, on the outside of the plastic visor. So you put the bracket on, um, then the washer, and then these thumb screws, plastic thumb screws, uh, bring everything together. And there's a threaded insert right here that holds everything taut and tight. Uh, and then there's little, uh, I don't know if you can see that really well, but there's little indentions here on the, uh, on the visor, it's been molded into the into the plastic, and what that allows is the uh, the visor to to catch on this little nub right here, and that holds it up or down, uh, you know, in that position that you want. So it's really simple, no tools here, and I'll show you what that looks like when it's when it's uh, completed. The visor installation is complete. You can see the uh, the bracket, the visor, and the thumb screw there with the washer in between the visor and the thumb screw. And it's really simple. It just uh, flips down, holds in position, and then you can uh, flip it back up and it holds position. So super uh, easy installation there, really hard to mess up because we, we have to drill a hole in the earmuffs and stuff. So we're gonna kind of do the comms and the earmuffs simultaneously. All right, so this is what comes in the uh, Cardo pack. We got the dual pack where it comes with two. And so there's two of everything. It comes with a charging cable, uh, just miscellaneous attachment pads, adhesive pads, and the microphone. This is the actual Cardo uh, unit that does all the uh, meshing and everything with the other comms. This is the mount plate, and this is what will actually mount to the helmet. And then here is uh, the earmuffs. And so we will get all this set up. We attach this to the back of the helmet, um, and then we just use adhesive pads to hold the microphone. And like I said, we will put these earphones into the Peltor housing, but we're gonna have to disassemble this housing and drill a hole I'll show you, we have to drill a hole right in the middle of this white plastic layer for the cords to, to come out of. And, it, and you'll see right here on our one of our helmets that's completed, we have the cord coming out and into the helmet and we have a bead of silicone here to, to reseal it um, so we don't lose any uh, decibel rating on the, uh, on, the, on the earmuff. So we will uh, show you what that kind of looks like. I'm gonna be using this helmet as reference uh, to route the wires and everything, so I keep everything consistent. But it's uh, it's pretty simple. It just involves uh, pulling out this uh, pad here. It's all Velcroed in, so you just kind of pull that pad out and uh, snake your wires around around the helmet. And here's the unit on the back that attaches to the lip of the helmet. So it's pretty straightforward. So to disassemble the 3M earmuff, we're just gonna pull this black piece out. So let's see if I can do it with one hand. Yeah, you just kind of lift up on it, get your finger under there and you can uh, separate it. Then we will pull this white plastic piece out. It'll probably take two hands. Um, and this is where we will stick the earmuff in here and run the cord out through the top. And I'll show you after we drill this out um, what that looks like. Got the first speaker in on the earmuff here. And so you can just kind of see it loops through the, uh, the white plastic piece. And honestly, all you have to do is press it in. Once you put the pad back on, it'll kind of hold this thing in, uh, in place. Here's what it looks like on one that's taken apart. Just sits in there, exits through the top, 
and this is all you have to do for the plastic piece is you go to the center tab here or the, the the center rib and drill through it and just work your way up it's not the straightest uh dr drill work through but it, it's fine um you just got to clear some of those burrs off with a knife i'm gonna try to explain how we have our uh, wires ran in this helmet we can start back here at the docking station for the cardo and the microphone and speaker cords exit uh, the the docking station and into the back of the helmet we get we try to keep every all, all the cords behind the helmet straps and the pads that, that's kind of the goal so these cords exit and the microphone jack just kind of gets pressed between the helmet and the foam and the first speaker out of this muff goes under the helmet or under under the helmet strap and enters this foam section right here it goes under the foam section towards the front of the helmet under the front pad and this is all velcro so you can just pull this out and then mirror the other side, goes right through that, um, through that pad section, and then back up into the muff running behind the strap. So everything's behind the strap and under the foam. That's, uh, that's just the, the best way we figured out to, to run this. So we will put the guard and uh, pad holder back on. And so, like I said, that cord exits the speaker at the top. This gets pressed back on and the cord passes through. Silicone and then the pad goes back on. Let that dry and you are ready to rock and roll.